Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to take a photo and turn it into a video that pans through your image. It's a really pretty cool thing that you can use on your social media. I recently posted an image video like this to my Instagram page and I also used one as a reel. So it's a really cool way to make the photos that you have into videos for social media. So if you're interested in learning how to do this, stick with me. Okay, so like I was saying, this is a great tool to use to make videos out of your photos for like social media and Instagram. You can check out an example that I did on Instagram here if you go to my Instagram feed. Also, if you would like to subscribe and then hit the bell so you can get updated next time I upload a video. All right, let's get started. Go ahead and open Photoshop. When you get into Photoshop, You're going to go up to File and click New. Then you're gonna see that there's a few options. I already have mine selected. I'm gonna do 1080 by 1350. This is the Instagram size. And go ahead and put the resolution as 72 and hit Create. You'll see the canvas pop up. And now we have to go up to um, file again. We're going to go down to place embedded. I'm going to choose my image that I'm going to use for this tutorial and hit place. Go ahead and size your image to the canvas. When it's sized accordingly, go ahead and hit enter. It's also a good idea to put the image where you want your piano to start from. So if this is where you want your video to start from, go ahead and hit enter and then it's ready to go. So I'm gonna be doing left to right. Now you're gonna go up to window and down to timeline. The little timeline box will pop up at the bottom of the screen. I'm gonna resize my image so I can kind of see what's really happening here. And then I'm going to use create video timeline in the little drop down menu. And you can go ahead and click that. Once that happens, it'll pop up with your little timeline strip. And you can see it automatically sets the image to five seconds. And you can adjust this if you'd like. I'm gonna make it a little bit easier to see. And then I can adjust it to be however long I want or however short I want. In this case, I'm gonna stick with five seconds. Once I've done that, I'm gonna go down to motion, that little button in the corner and hit pan. I'm gonna set it at 180 degrees because I want it to go from left to right. Now I'm going to drag the playhead through you can see how it will kind of move through the image, but it's not going to be correct yet. So we're not finished quite yet. Once you've got the playhead all the way to the end, you're going to move your image to where you want it to finish. So wherever you want the video to finish, go ahead and move that to fit. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and hit the drop down menu and it's going to pop up the transform buttons here. Now that those have popped up, we're going to just pull in the end one a little bit. This makes the finish of the video a little bit smoother. You can hit play and then view your video. It's going to be a little choppy at first while it's processing. Once it's finished processing, you can go down to the arrow button in the left hand corner and it's going to render your video. Go ahead and select the name you want to give this new video. 
I'm just gonna call mine Video Pan. You can choose the folder it's gonna go to. The format should be H.264, and you should leave it at 30 frames a second. Make sure your document size is the 1080 by 1350. In the other side, you can see you can choose your different qualities. I choose low and then render. Low quality is totally fine for social media, but it does give you other options. It's gonna take a little while to render your video, but then once it does, it should pop up into the location that you selected in the render video dialog box. Now your video should look something like this. And when you put it on social media, your image is going to play as this pan through video. It's going to be really nice and seamless, and it's going to give you that ability to make videos out of your photos. We all don't shoot videos, but this is a good way to turn a photo into a video to make it a little bit more interesting and engaging in your feed. Thanks for stopping by for this video and leave a, me a comment in the comment section below if you liked this, if you had any questions. Thanks guys. See you next time.